Hi everyone, Nicholas Bafidis here from the Junior Senior School in sunny Cyprus back with another video and this one's all about tags. One of the not so common features or well known features of Microsoft Teams. I do think though it's a really cool feature and can save a lot of time especially for educators but not only educators but for admin staff as well at school or in a business. What is a tag and where is it used? Well, essentially, you've probably found yourself using the at sign to actually tag someone when you're posting a message in the team. Well, sometimes you had to tag quite a few people because you want to make sure they see that message. OK, so a tag basically saves you the time of doing that again and again and again. So if you, for example, want to tag the finance department quite often, or you, you're, a, you're a teacher and you have broken your class into separate groups, and you want to just make announcements in the general channel of your team, but you want to make sure either one group or all groups or some of the groups make sure that they actually see this conversation, then you can create a tag and add all those students in. So let's have a look at how we can create tags and how we can use them. Now, before I do that, I'm going to show you the setup. This is my Microsoft Teams. And this is where I'm going to be creating the tags. You can see I've got this teacher training team here, which some of you have probably seen before if you're a subscriber to my channel. And I've got here a device which is simulating a student account. You can see at the bottom here it says student device one. And I have another device logged into another account over here. And this is student device number two. So the reason why I've created this setup is so that I can create a tag tag a group and we can see a, a student which is a member of that tag team let's say how the message will appear or how they are notified in their teams and someone who is not they will still be able to see the, the message or the, the post but they will not be notified now the other really good thing about tags is if you want to start a chat message with the members of that tag group then you can do that as well. So it's much easier than starting a new chat and adding everybody in. So let's get started. So here's my teacher training team here. I'm going to click on the ellipses. Now you can see I've got you know sub channels at the bottom, other private channels or sub channels. And these are really good if you're breaking up your students into groups and they're working on group projects and you want to communicate with them separately. And that's absolutely fine because you can have your private conversations there as well. But I'm going to create, I'm going to click here on the ellipses and I'm going to have a look at the people that I've got in my team first, just so I can show you. So if I go to manage team, that's where I am here now. And you can see I've got five, five accounts in this uh, team, uh, student three, presenter nine, presenter eight, student one, and this John Doe account. And if you look at the top, I've got these tabs and I've got one here called tags. So that's one way you can reach tags. The other way is, again, from the ellipses directly, you can go to manage tags. That will open the same settings page, but will take you to this tab directly. So I'm going to create two tags. If we'll have a look at our members. Well, the one tag is going to have student one and student three. And the other tag is going to have the other three students in there. So I'm going to go to tags here. I'm going to create a tag and I'm just going to call this one group one. And here I'm going to type the name. So that's going to be STU1. Then I'm going to add STU2. Actually, three we said. So there we go, STU3. And add that student as well. And I'm going to click on create. And you can see now it's got this tag here. And there are two people. Now, if you want to modify the tag, you want to add people, remove people to the tag, or you just want to delete the tag, you will go to the same place as before. So from here, I can easily go to manage team, for example, go to tags, or go from the ellipses and go to manage tags. From here, I can select and I can very easily see the members. I can edit the tag. I can remove members if I want, or I can add more people if I want. OK, so very easy to manage tags. If I want to delete the tag, I can just click on the delete icon, the trash can there. So I'm going to go and create another tag. So if I go to all tags, I'm going to create another tag. I'm going to call this group two. Group two. And I'm going to type the names. And this is going to find the people which are actually in this team. STU2. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to create. So now I've got two tags. So how do I use them? So I'm going to go to the general channel. I'm going to write a small message. 
uh, remember to submit work now if I wanted to make sure that group one for example wants uh, has to actually submit their work or I want to make sure that they are notified remember group one is student one and student three I can simply do this now before I would have to do this I would have to write at and type each one stu1 and then I would do an at sign so I can tag the next student stu2 or actually this the second the first group is that one stu3 and that would tag the each individual student but that takes time since I've created tags I can simply do this at group one there it is there and everyone who's a member of that group will be notified so let me send this okay now if we have a look at student one there we go so if I go to student one you can see student one has got this notification they have been notified I'm not going to open it up just yet let's have a look at the other student you can see this student here which is part of the same team you can see the general channel is blacked out is in, in bold which means there's a new uh, message there but they haven't been notified there's no activity notification there so if we look at student one there we go if I click on the activity which is here then I can see that they this group has been mentioned there's the notification and if I do go to the team as well they can also see that message there okay so very easy to tag now if we go to the other student which is student uh, two now remember this this student was not a member of group one which was tagged they don't have the activity but if they go to the general channel if we have a look here they can see that message that post so everybody in the team will see the post but the people that are part of group one will also be notified with that activity notification so that's how you can use tags now then let's have a look if i want to create a chat okay so i'm going to go to my teams application here we go i'm going to go to chat and at the top i'm going to start a new conversation i've got one here open let me just close that one discard i'm going to start a new conversation and i'm going to type the tag name this time i'm going to send the message to group two and you can see it's found it here here's group one here's group two there are three people there and if i click on this now you can see automatically it's added the three members of that tag group in the conversation so i can just type hello here hi all and if we have a look now at one of the accounts which is a member of this tag and that'll be this one here you can see they've got a new chat message here waiting for them and if they click on this they can see the chat there it is I'm just going to reply from this account here hi send that over and if we have a look at my team's application now you can see I've got a notification for chat and there's my chat group there so tags are really good to create chat groups as well so you can identify and find those chat groups very easily and quickly especially if it's groups of people that you communicate with oftenly. Okay, so how can we move people or members from one tag to another? Again, I'm gonna to go to Teams, click on my ellipses, Manage Team, or click on the ellipses and go to Manage Tags, entirely up to you. You can actually click on here and add or remove people. The other thing that you can do from members you can see here it's got when you go to your members list now it actually tells you which members are part of which tag and you can click on the there you go you can see that there group one it's got two people if I click on the tag here okay I can switch this person and move them to group two and that's a really nice feature because if you want to rearrange your groups or move someone to someone else you don't have to create a new group you can just reshuffle everyone so if i just move um let's say i'm going to move present presenter eight over to group one there we go so that now he's part of both groups remove group two click on apply there we go and if we have a look at the tags now we can see there are three members in group one and there they are so to summarize 
Tags are a really nice way to group people together that you want to notify often, whether you're a, whether it's a groups of students or whether it's team members or let's say departments. If you're sending out things in a general channel and you want a specific group to be notified, and that's something which happens often, if you're only going to require that group of people once, there's really no need for a tag. But if you are going to be uh, wanting to notify a group of people on a regular basis, you're better off using tags. I hope you find this useful. If you've learned something new, make sure to subscribe and like. See you in the next video.